Hi, Scorpio. Good morning. Plug myself in here. All right. Good morning, uh, Scorpio. Finally, right? I'm going to be doing your love bite for a uh, time period between mid June and mid July 2018. You are the last one, and then I can start getting through these uh, personal readings. Okay, and that may take me another day or two, but it's going to come. All right, let's see. I need one card, please. So I'm getting uh, energies like a significators for you for this month from the gods and goddesses and the go uh, goddesses and sirens deck. And those are by Stacy DeMarco and illustrations are by Jimmy Manton. Okay. So. Alrighty. All right. And then let's get the other energy. One card, please. Okay, so two cards here for you today, Scorpio. All right, so from the Gods and Titans, we have set, S-E-T, this is chaos. So there's some chaotic energy going on around you. All right, there's some chaos that you're dealing with this month in regards to your love life. And Shela Nagig Gateways. So this is talking about something coming in. Could also talk about something leaving. Maybe a portal that's opening. Could be talking about birth, giving birth, or something being exposed, something coming out into the open. So there may be something that's coming out to the open that's going to create chaos in your love life. Yes, I'll show you. Mm. Okay, so something is causing chaos in your love life. And it may be creating at the same time an opening. It could be creating, giving you a path out of, 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 of a relationship that is chaotic. Okay. A relationship around you that is chaotic to begin with. There's going to be some revelations. There's going to be some information that you are going to get that is going to give you the opportunity to walk away or make some major changes in major changes in the relationship to, 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 to bring order. Okay. The gateway is going to allow you to bring order to your life, not necessarily to the relationship, but to your life. The next set of cards that we're getting is from the Romance Angel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. One more card, please. Thank you. All righty. Bottom of the deck, worth waiting for. Oh. So, we have very soon religious factors. Okay, let me show it to you. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so. You are going to have to make a decision about something. You're going to have to, if you've been uh, hedging or, or procrastinating or delaying something, they're saying that you're going to have to make a decision very soon. Decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you. Okay? Religious factors. 
Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this could be saying that whatever is going on is something that is divinely uh, orchestrated, okay? It may have something to do with your religious beliefs, okay? It could have something to do with your childhood, things that happened in the past that could be connected to a religious belief, okay? But whatever this is, this is part of your spiritual path. Next card that came up, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with one another. So whoever it is that you're seeing, whoever you're involved with, whoever you have your relationship with, this is saying that you need to talk honestly, all right? Open up to one another, all right? Let yourself be honest and open. Could, again, have things to do with your past and your childhood. But it's going to open a, a gateway for you to get clarity. Next card was keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expect expectations. And I'm getting here that this is saying that the person that you're with has changed. And they're different from what you are used to or the way that they usually are. The way uh, something is going on, that may be the chaos. They may be changing. Uh, uh, something about them is changing. And you might find this out through these heart-to-heart -heart conversations. If something is, about them is changing, you need to keep an open mind about that. And it may change the way you perceive them, that you have thought that they were one way and actually they are different. And it's not a bad thing or a good thing. It just is what it is. And again, divine timing was at the bottom of the deck, right? Worth waiting for the time. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So whatever this chaos is, whatever this this uh, opportunity for something new to come in or for something to leave the chaos, it's going to be something that creates independence for you also. I'm, I'm hearing that. Okay. But it's going to be worth it. But this is not something that you can really... This has to happen. This is something that you need to... That you don't... This just fell off the top of the, the deck as I was speaking. These are the right away tarot. So there's some heartache, some heartache that this is going to be revealing or bringing to you. Hmm. All right, let's see if there's any other, see what else, what other clarification we can get. Five of uh, cups. So this, this difference there's a difference maybe in religious upbringing or religious belief system that's going to cause there to be some type of movement. Someone is crying over spilled milk. Someone is, is it's, 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 not, it's not trivial. It's not trivial. They're, they're crying over things that they, have, that they have to walk away from. And they're not seeing what is left. They're not seeing that they have choices, okay, that they have options. Mm -hmm. So we have the Three of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Devil, keep an open mind. Oh, sorry, Queen of Wands, this fellow on keep an open mind. And Six of Swords. Worth waiting for. All right. So very soon and the three of cups. 
So there's going to be something that is going to be you're going to become aware of or there's some decision that you're going to have to make regarding something that's hurtful, someone that has been hurtful, someone could be involved in a three-party situation, it could be a four-party situation, okay, but very soon you're going to find out about this or maybe you are going to um, expose it, you know, and maybe you're going to talk to someone about it or reveal that to your partner or that could be so someone you or them very soon the situation is going to come to light you could get some clarity about this heartbreak or this third party situation five of cups fell on top of the religious factors right so this is going to cause you or someone, your, your partner, you or your partner is going to make a decision or at least feel like they have to walk away from something from this relationship I'm hearing due to a difference in religions, a difference in spiritual beliefs. maybe that you weren't aware of, but after this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, the devil fell on top of heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So this may be revealing some shady activity that went on in the past, that's what I'm getting. Could be revealing some addictions. Okay, could be talking about a codependent relationship that's being revealed all right some some addictions could have something to do with a Capricorn could have something to do with you because this card to me to me not to other people um, may talk about Scorpios okay so a heart-to-heart conversation about things that you might not want to talk about things that you might not want to admit to addictions that you may not want to have exposed something that you may not want to own some behavior some addiction alcoholism drug addiction addiction to sex addiction to food addiction to uh, whatever all right or COVID dependency on a person okay so there may be a codependent factor to this relationship but maybe someone is has gotten some help for it maybe you've gotten some help for it and they're ready to walk away from this this next card that came was the Queen of Wands all right so this is someone could be a fire sign uh, so fire Sagittarius Aries or Leo all right and keep an open mind so this is about I'm hearing set in your ways someone is set in their ways could be a fire sign around you that's set in their ways but they are looking for passion they're looking for passion they're looking to start something new all right they've been getting some wisdom they've been getting some clarity this fell on top of keeping an open mind so some maybe the fire sign around you has uh, opened up to something that's going to be a new a new uh, a new start for them that's going to be a very fertile passionate new start and they're standing their ground about it so that could be what's happening you're going to have this heart to heart conversation they're telling you to keep an open mind because the information that you're getting, 
the person feels very passionate about it. This again could be you, you feeling very passionate about something and you want to keep an open mind. So listen to what's being said, not the way that they're saying it is what I'm being told. So sometimes people say things loudly or uh, in an angry tone and it turns you off as the person that's listening or supposed to listen. And so then you put up a front about, you put up a, a barrier, you put up defenses to the information. What I'm hearing is to tell you to, in regards to this situation, keep an open mind, get past the tone, get past the anger and listen to what it is that's being said. All right. Um, and the last card was the six of swords. So this means that someone is uh, moving on, all right? Or someone is changing direction or leaving after they've got some clarity in the situation. And this fell over worth waiting for, which was the bottom of the deck for you, right? So after this, 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 this moving forward for you or for the your partner is something that comes with clarity. It's in is being divinely timed, and it's going to be worth it for one of for for both of you. I'm hearing for both of you. For both of you, there's going to be movement towards new newness, towards a new love. So this chaos, this chaotic situation is going to open up an opportunity for you to get clarity about the heartbreak that you've been experiencing in this relationship. And it's going to make you sad. But what it's saying is that there are opportunities for more love if you just are willing to turn around. And this these conversations that you need to have with your partner is going to reveal a lot of addictions, a lot of behaviors that you may or may not have been aware of on both your parts. Okay. Both parts, both partners have been involved in some things that are less than less than holy, <laughs> less than spirit. I heard that less than holy, less than spiritual, something that needs to be addressed, something that has always need to be, needed to have been addressed. And it is going to be addressed within this time period or whenever this situation resonates for you in your life. Keep an open mind about this. There may be a fire sign involved in this. You may be going towards a fire sign. You may be leaving this situation and going towards something new, some clarity, because it's time. It's time. Hmm. All right. So let's see if there are any more messages from oh, mermaids and dolphins deck. And that is by Doreen Virtue. Okay. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive, pe positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Okay. Yeah. They want you to get away from this chaos. All right. This is not good for you. This is not good for your health. This is not good for your spirit. This is taking a toll on you physically, I'm hearing. So this is some something that needs to be addressed soon. And you need to get away from it and surround yourself with positive people. It's a lot of dolphins in here. So this may be family. Okay. Maybe you need to get closer to your family away from this chaos. So if you're involved in a marriage or something like that, maybe you need to go and be with your siblings or your parents or somebody some something that is a positive support for you it could be a church it could be a fraternal organization whatever wherever you have 
people who are giving you positive reinforcement, you need to surround yourself with that. This contempla uh, contemplation time. Spend time alone meditation, meditating about what you truly de desire. So you need to take some time to meditate and pray. All right. To decide what it is that you really want so that you can go after it. After you get away from this negative energy and surround yourself with positive people, then you can take the time to contemplate your next move. What it is that you really, really, really want. The next card that came here was morning affirmations. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. So this is something that you may, this is a change that you may need to make in your life if you're not doing this already. When you get up in the morning, start uh, making affirmations so that you can open the gates of manifestation. All right. So that you can be able to uh, enjoy, enjoy. Right. Okay. Enjoy the changes that are about to come into your life. So they want you to get into rhythm with the change. And the way to do this is to get around positive people. Take time to meditate and contemplate on the situation and do morning affirmations so that it, this situation may hurt you. And it may make you it may bring you heartbreak, heartache. And I think what they're saying is that if you separate yourself from the chaos, from this negative energy that's that you're dealing with, and take time to contemplate what's going on, do morning affirmations to affirm yourself so that you don't take uh, uh, this negativity with you to your next to the next chapter. Okay. So you can affirm yourself, know who you are, be comfortable with who you are. Mm -hmm. And these morning af uh, affirmations is going to help you as you con continue to proceed forward. Okay. All right. So let's, let's see if we can get some messages from the Conscious Spirit. Oracle number 27, Spark of the Divine. Two and seven is nine. So this is a message from your ancestors. I recognize the divine spark within me and recognize that I am a part of all creation. So you're very important, Scorpio. And this is an important situation for you. And it's being directed towards you in order for there to be some change in your life that needs to happen and that your ancestors are trying to let you know that this is not anything negative for you. This is a new beginning for you, and this is what they need you to do. This is what they want you to do. They want this spark, this new spark of spirituality to happen for you and for them. All right? You are doing service. <laughs> you are doing a service. They're pushing you towards that. That's what I've been told. That's what I'm getting told. Mm-hmm. And understanding who you are in the whole scheme of things. They want you to understand how important you are in the whole entire scheme of things. Whatever it is that's happening, it's because they want you to understand. Oh, number 15, 1 and 5 is 6. So this again is about love. Find your bliss. I'm full, I am following a path I love and am fully aligned to my soul purpose. This is... Your Agun are trying to take you on another path, take you towards another thing. They want you to find your bliss. So whatever it is around you, whoever it is around you, and you know who this is, you know what this is. Somebody that you're involved with, some relationship that you are involved with that you need to let go of, that you need to come away from the chaos. But within this chaos... There is going to be a revelation about something that you need to know about yourself, about your spiritual journey, and it has to do with your family. All right, you need to surround yourself with positive energy in order to. <sighs> Number 13, mm -hmm. solar plexus. Something 
I take actions daily to awaken my personal power. Okay, reiterating your need to do the morning affirmations. Your solar plexus chakra, this is something that is foundational to you. All right, number four, this is something that is within you. Again, talking about your roots, your um, spiritual guides, your ancestors, your spiritual family. This is something that is bright. This is something that is loving. This is something, 13 is the death card in the regular tarot, and that death card is Scorpio, right? So this is, again, about you tuning into your spiritual path, okay, and taking change, making changes and taking actions that reawaken, 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 awaken those energies within you that are going to give you a chance to... Uh, Control your love life, control things around you, your personal power. You are going to understand who you are and what your purpose is, why this relationship went the way it did, what was the lesson. This is your foundation. This is going to be a new start for you, for you. a bright new future, a bright new future. All right. There may you there may be things going on in your abdominal area, your lower region that you may need to pay attention to. Maybe you need to see the doctor if you're having something uncomfortable there. All right. But you're being pushed towards finding your bliss, finding your foundations. Okay. What makes you you? And it's something spiritual. There's a divine, there's a spark of the divine within you that is being activated so that you can find finally your bliss. Could be a new relationship, could be a new new spiritual um, awakening, uh, understanding, but something that, that is needing to happen, something that is destined to be. And it has to happen, okay? It will be uncomfortable at first. It will be chaos, but it is a necessary change. You'll be giving an opening. You're being given a way out. Maybe you didn't have, maybe you were stuck something in something and you didn't have a way out. You're getting ready to get the way out so that you can find your bliss. Okay, so we're going to see if we can get some further uh, affirmations from the Native Spirit Oracle cards, and these are by Denise Lynn. Mm. All right, that's too much. Let's do one card, please, folks. <laughs> one card, please. Tracker. T R A C K E R. Tracker. Hmm. All righty, let's, let's see what that is. Tracker. All righty. Focus your intent and your passion on one thing, rather than being scattered in different directions. Be single-minded in what's truly important to you and let everything else go. Track the unseen but very real stream of energy to that which you desire. So you're being pulled away from what you don't need to be around anymore, okay? And you're giving a chance to go on a path towards what you really want. Trackers have the ability to be so focused that everything but their goal disappears. When you see, what you see around you is a result of what you focus on. When you direct your thoughts towards good, you attract positive experiences and people into your life. But when you focus on what isn't working, you create even more challenging situations. 
If you are pleased with the direction of your life, concentrate on what you desire, not on what you don't want. To develop inner power, focus intently on one thing. Being scattered in a myriad of directions dilutes your strength. Devote your attention to your family, your community, your career, relationships, hobbies, or anything that you're passionate about. Diminish activities that aren't essential to your goals, and it will be just a matter of time before miracles start to occur. Write down how much time on average you spend on different activities during your day. If there's anything non-essential that doesn't feed your soul, find ways to diminish it and focus on what's truly important. Okay, so make a list. <laughs> make a list of the things that you do throughout your day. See how much time you're spending on unnecessary stuff. Find out who's taking up time that shouldn't be, all right? Um, and try to separate yourself away from that chaos, away from that unnecessary things. So this is giving you the formula, uh, formula to make these moves, okay, to release what it is that needs to be released and set you on your correct path, okay? Finding out exactly what's important to you and focusing on that, giving that more time, whatever it is, and if it's a relationship or a new relationship. If it's an old relationship that you know is over, let it go, okay? And then start spending time working towards healing and finding your new a new relationship that's waiting for you. Okay, these are the Whispers of Love deck. And this is by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. All right, so let's see what they want to say. Mm-hmm. Okay. First card that came here is receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. All right. So these messages that you're getting here about your relationship or about your love life, receive these messages with love and appreciation. They want you to accept these messages. Mm. Number 34. So three and four is seven, right? The numbers on these cards are so tiny. A simple consideration is to be courteous when someone is trying to give us something. The angels encourage us to take, to be able to graciously receive as an act of kindness. Allow someone the opportunity to express love by accepting what someone wants to do or give to you. All right, so again, I think this is about keeping an open mind and receiving this information that you may be getting from your partner about what's going on and where they're going and where, what they're feeling. Be open to it, receive it, and appreciate the honesty that you're getting. All right, that this is this person's way of showing love. And I'm hearing finally, finally showing love by being honest and expressive. This may be something that you always wanted from them. It may come up with some information that you may not understand or that you weren't prepared for, but it's telling you to receive it with appreciation. Be grateful for the information and the insight that they are giving you, okay? Hearing that you should love the truth. Next card that came here, number one, listen with your heart. Mm. Uh, you are listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. So when you all have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, they're saying to you to listen with love and not anger. Be open 
to what's being said. Again, like I said before, listen past the work, the, 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 the anger or whatever. Maybe they're crying. All right. May, okay. Maybe your partner is being emotional while they're trying to express the situation to you. Maybe you're not used to seeing them so emotional. This is maybe a male energy that may be crying. And while he's crying, he's like pouring his heart out. And what they're saying is instead of belittling him or dismissing him because, you know, you, you're not used to him acting like that or, you know, you feel that a man who's crying is weak, look past that. Look past that. Look past that. Listen to what he's saying. Don't, don't, don't weigh what he's saying with your, your, with your ego or your opinion or your expectations or anything. Just listen with your heart. The opportunity is here for you to try a loving, to try a loving perspective to the situation. It's easy to get wrapped up in the words that are being said. But what does your heart say about your situation? This situation, your heart knows the truth. Trust that. Sit still, take a deep breath, and ask your heart what you need to know. So while he's he's talking or she's talking, and maybe these things are hitting you, and it, it may be chaotic, and, and it's telling you to just listen, to sit back, and listen to what they're saying, and listen and understand how your heart is reacting to what they're saying. Not the angry ego, but the heart. To the place that you loved this person. That's what it's saying. Take your heart back to the time when you loved them. So maybe when you first met or when you first started seeing each other, whatever. And listen. The next card that came here, number 27, two and seven is nine. So this is something that your ancestors want you to know. This, the card, it says spiritual collection, connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So this is someone that you have some kind of spiritual connection with. It could be a karmic connection. It could be a twin flame connection. And they're saying that this is something that is going to surpass. And I, when I read it, it didn't only mean this, the past lifetimes. This means future lifetimes. There's some connection with you and this other person that goes beyond the, this plane. And your ancestors want you to understand that. Hmm. 27. Yeah. They want you to understand that, that this is a spiritual connection. Everything happens for a reason. So know that some people co that come into your life are there just to help teach a lesson and make a real impact on your life. Whether this is a love, soulmate relationship, or a relationship for growth, it's important to you in this lifetime. This person came into your life in order to help you grow to take you from one part, to take you from one chapter to another. Just like people work and then they have to retire from their jobs after a while, this is saying that this, you, you are going to retire from this, this situation, but for a reason. This it was an opportunity, an experience that you had to have in order to um, do some real spiritual growth or change. This was something that you, this was something that was supposed to teach you a lesson about something. And now is the time for you to get the lesson 
or at least to get clarity on what the lesson was. And maybe this person that you thought was your soulmate, they were your soulmate, but this was not your forever person. But it could have been for a long period of time because maybe that's how long it took for you all to get this. Them too, not just you. But there's some illumination that you are going to be getting about your spiritual connection. And you have to listen with an open mind and listen with your heart and not be afraid. And try to understand the information that you're getting. You're being made aware of the spiritual connection. And understand without being angry. This is not something that was done to you. All right. This person didn't do you anything. Didn't do you anything. Then. Okay. <laughs> they didn't do anything to you purposely. Okay. Things happen. People make mistakes, but they're not really mistakes because it was meant to be that way. So appreciate the good parts of this experience because there were good parts of this experience. Embrace that. Feel it. And then understand the information and the messages that you're being told right now. Understand that this is bigger than both of you. And then work on you as you move on to the next chapter of your life. After you retire from this chaos. All right. This is a new path. This is a, a new gateway for you. All right. So Scorpio, thank you so much for your patience. And I apologize for taking so long to do this. But I was also told by my spirit guides just yesterday that the readings come when they're supposed to come, whether they be the general readings or the uh, uh, paid readings. And people just have to understand that that's the way that I work. All right. This is what the situation that they created in my body, in my mind, in my health uh, path that says you do it when we tell you to do it and when we give you the energy to do it and how we make you do it. So for those of you who want personal readings, just put in the request and as I get to it, I'll get to it. And whenever you get that message is going to be when you're supposed to get that message. This is not going to be on my time or your time. This is going to be on spirit time. So um, just be aware of that. All right. Of course, I'm going to try to do it as much and as soon as I can. But the general readings, they're saying, is the most important. All right. Yes, the personal readings are important, of course. Uh, that's a source of, of information for you and revelation. But it's also all of these things, all of these messages are not just for us singularly, this for the collective to either learn or to discern uh, or for those people who can't afford to uh, pay for messages, pay for uh, readings and things like that so that everybody gets the information at the right time for the good of all of us. So I have to just go with the flow, you guys. And if you want to flow with me, you're welcome to it. I love you all, and I'll be talking to you all soon. The general readings for July are already up, and I will be uh, starting the readings for August in July, and then I'll come back in mid-July to do your love bite for uh, August, so from July to August. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and share. Thank you all for all your subscriptions. Um, YouTube's finally going to monetize me, so we'll see how that goes. But I need you to like because that's, I think, how they uh, decide that they're going to monetize, you know, how much is the value is and watch the ads that come up, okay? <laughs> Don't click off on them. Uh, watch it, okay? So anyway, I love you guys, and I'll be talking to you soon, all right? Bye.